Welcome to the Chimney and Fireplace Success Network, a weekly broadcast sponsored by CVC Coaching, hosted each week by industry speaker, coach, author, and educator, Jerry Eisenhower. Our presentations are produced to assist business owners and managers in turning their business dreams into their business realities. And now, here's your host, Jerry Eisenhower. I want to welcome you once again to another edition, another episode of the Chimney and Fireplace Success Network. This is sponsored by CBC Coaching, and we do this every week. And what we try to do is bring you different guests that can really add to your business or maybe even add to your life. And tonight is one of those special, special guests. Tonight I have with me a gentleman I met a few years ago. He, I was teaching a class, and he was in the class. And anyway, and what I found out that day was that he had started a new project down in Louisiana by the name of Warrior Horse. And at this point, he's really grew this into something phenomenal, and he keeps growing, and it's rapidly becoming a dream that's going to turn into reality for him. So the guest tonight is Kevin Russell. He and his wife, Teresa, and I believe his daughter, someone involved, will ask him some questions about tonight. They're the founders of, and they operate a company called Warrior Horse. He also has a chimney service company that is New Buck, located, I believe, in Shreveport, Louisiana, and that's down in the deep south. So Kevin and I can talk to each other very good. We, we communicate on the same wavelength, and we talk plain English like Shakespeare's supposed to. So anyway, Kevin, you out there with me tonight? Absolutely, Jerry. Good to see you. You got it, bro. Well, listen, I'm glad you took some time out of your busy schedule, and let's share some good stuff with other people. So anyway, the Warrior Horse Project, what this is all about, it's about using horses and with veterans and that suffer from PTSD. So the first thing I want you to do, Kevin, is a lot of people may not know what PTSD is. So can you explain this, what PTSD is, and why this is such a threat to so many of our veterans today? Yeah, PTSD, or also PTSI, as you'll start hearing it called more often, it's an invisible wound which occurs when your mind reaches the limits of what it can and will handle. It usually occurs in those who have experienced or witnessed a life-threatening event such as war or combat in the veterans' cases, rape or violent assault. Okay. So is this what, when I was a kid, that we called shell shock by chance? Like we'd see a lot of people maybe come back, and they'd been in wars, and they really didn't know what this was, and maybe it was classified as shell shock some years ago. Is this kind of what we're talking about? It's basically the same thing. Um, what it does is it just triggers fear within the mind. And we all have, let's say, X amount that our mind can and will handle. And then any time trauma occurs that the, the mind can't handle any longer, then it initiates this disorder or this stress. Got you covered. So, Kevin, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Kevin and Teresa and how you got in this business, how, when you got in it, how long you've been in the chimney service business, and tell me a little bit about your story there, Kevin. Well, I've been in the chimney business for over 22 years now. It started up in Columbus, Ohio, where I worked as a chimney technician for one season. And then Teresa and I, as well as Carly, moved back down to Louisiana. And within three years of moving back home near our families, um, Teresa cracked the whip until I finally started a business of our own. Okay, so that was in the chimney service business. So tell me about your PTSD travels. What was your magic moment? What you got you excited that this was I'm going to say your cause in life, maybe why you were planted on God's green earth to do. What was this thing that turned you that this was somewhere that you needed to be working, that you needed to delve into and, you know, and donate your personal money, your time and your efforts into Kevin? How, what's the driving force? Well, 12 years ago, I had made a bond with the horse that I had 
and never even knew that that was possible. And I knew immediately that I wanted to share that experience with the world because I knew it could be used to help transform lives in some way. So after eight years of diligent prayers, I was at Camp Lejeune with Carly, of course, my daughter, who's a Marine. And we were out eating at Red Robin and I saw a news clip about a program that was using horses to help veterans suffering from PTSD. And needless to say, all the bells and whistles started going off and I'm quite surprised they didn't actually kick me out of the restaurant. Now, why is that? Why would they have kicked you out of the restaurant, man? I can't even imagine how loud the bells and whistles must have been going off, Jerry. It was just something that it's inexplicable when when you get the feeling that you know why you've been put on this planet to help others. I understand, man. So tell me a little bit. Tell me about the war. Tell me what Warrior Horse is. Tell me what you're doing down there and tell me what your program is. Let's share it with people that may not be familiar. I'd like you to take this that you're talking to somebody that's never heard of Kevin Russell, has never heard of Warrior Horse. What's the story? What What's the deal with Warrior Horse? Well, the way I always started is somebody asks about the program. I said, well, let me tell you about this program called Warrior Horse. Warrior Horse is a national all expense paid program for our military veterans who are suffering from PTSD. And our program is going to be the last hope many of the participants will have to combat this terrible injury of PTSD. It's a program that uses personalized and interactive equine assisted method. It's what I call the bonding process. It's the same thing that I accomplished with my horse Blue 12 years ago. And it helps military veterans suffering from PTSD to begin their recovery from this debilitating injury. So how's Warrior Horse gonna do this? Tell me more about what you're doing in Louisiana. Well, what we do is Warrior Horse is gonna offer healing and hope to the traumatized veterans by lowering their symptoms of depression, post-traumatic stress, and suicidal thoughts. So what we do is we fly the veterans in, we put them up in a hotel, they come out to the ranch, and we have a classroom setting for them to where they learn about horsenality, horse behavior, and the things that they need to know to keep themselves safe as well as the, the safety of the horses while they're gonna be working with the horses in the round pen. And then they take the training that was used and go work one-on-one -on -one with these retired thoroughbred horses until they achieve the bonding process because what it does is it's a carefully orchestrated sequence that the veteran and the horse communicate non-verbally with until the point of breakthrough on both the part of the veteran and the horse to mutual trust. And then once that trust is engaged, it is a catalyst for release for the veterans that they haven't been able to achieve since the trauma occurred. And that's the stepping stone for them to get their life back and start living again, instead of just existing in this world. Tell me what the word release means, what you're saying, Kevin. I've seen you say that. And can you explain a little more what we mean by release? Well, the way I see it and the way that it's been explained and the way I've experienced it is when this trauma occurs within us, and Jerry, you you have X amount that your brain will deal with and compensate for, as do I. But when we reach that point and our brain can no longer deal with the occurrence, it almost shuts down to a point to where it's like flipping off a light switch. And then at that point, you're just kind of struggling through life kind of in the dark until you you're able to achieve this release and the release is it's chemical 
it's physical and it's spiritual. And what it does is when, when you become vulnerable around a horse that's five times your size and that horse trusts you and comes in and accepts you as a leader, then when he nudges you, it actually starts that chemical reaction and it allows your mind to just relax finally which it hasn't been able to do since the trauma. Does that make sense, Jerry? It makes sense. So what it does, release means it takes the edge off that this person is living with. Would that be a way to say it? That's absolutely the way to say it. Um, I was a little long-winded, but same point. Hey, that's not a problem, as long as we know it. So what we're doing here is we're able to get them to, shall we say, deal with reality again and deal with the pressures of living in the world as we live in today, would that be another way of saying it? It would, Jerry, and basically, it's not just magic. What happened to them doesn't disappear, but it allows their mind a way of seeing it in a way that's approachable and that they can deal with so that they can move forward instead of living in the past or just being stuck where they are. Okay. So tell me where Warrior Horse is at this point. What have you got erected and completed down there in Shreveport at this point, Kevin? Well, right now we have all the materials for the arena are on location. And we're basically just waiting for the monsoon season to let up a little bit so that we can get the concrete trucks in here to pour the footings and get the building erected. Okay, so you're moving along. So do you have a target date of when you're going to be in operation? I wish I did, Jerry. Um, once once again, it's all based on the weather. If we can get about two weeks of solid dry, then hopefully everything will be dried enough to get those concrete trucks in here and within a month have the arena up and then we will be fully running at that point. Okay, so once this is up fully running, how many how many veterans can you do at one time or how many can you do in a year, Kevin? The program's set up to handle five at a time because we want it very personal and interactive. And we plan to do one session a month each month of the year. So basically 60 veterans a year and then if funding permits, I know the need is there, but if funding permits, then we will increase the classes accordingly. And where you built this, this is land that you have donated to this cause, am I correct? Well, it's not exactly land that's been donated. Um, there were some legal issues involved with all that so I've actually, I'm building the arena on my personal property and I'm paying for the arena out of my pocket, Teresa and I, and it's going to be the facility for the program. We've yeah. already built a cabin for the classroom part of it and the arena will be the other half of it. Yeah, I saw the other day, I saw a video with a drone shot and I believe, was that showing your cabin and all that stuff in that drone shot? It was, and then right behind the cabin where you saw the round pin, right in front of all the horses, that's actually the area where the arena will be erected. Yeah, what I meant a while ago was you had, you have don't, you had, you're using your land and all to put this up on. This was not land that was donated to you, but it was rather what you and Teresa have put into this program. Am I correct? That's absolutely correct, Jerry. Um, personally, I don't need a, an arena that large. I don't need an arena at all. I've survived well for 12 years without it with my horses. I spend most of my time with them on the ground, not on their backs. But it's, it's something in the beginning that I felt like I was called to do. And I'm gonna put every resource that I have into it and we've we've emptied a lot of our our funds into this project yeah so 
you you know here's the thing kevin you have become a cause that many in this industry are supporting so and a lot of people are helping you out and working with you and i know that and like i said we really don't want to go into those names because i don't want to miss anybody i hope you understand that but i don't want to miss i don't want to miss anybody in when we talk about who's helped you i saw a lot of names roll across the screen on that video and i felt really good when i saw mine and cheryl's names on there but there's a lot of people involved this is not just kevin and Teresa doing this this is a whole industry that's gotten behind you in fact I believe it was last year we were at the NCSG banquet and you said something about you needed to raise X number of dollars to finish up something and next thing I knew they were passing the hat around there and I think you got a pile of 20s and $100 bills that night didn't you we did Jerry it was a blessing um, that's the last thing I expected when I got down from that presentation but like you said, the, the industry as a whole has been backing this project for the entirety of it. Um, and we're, we're almost into five years worth since inception. And it's, it's phenomenal that it's become a national program just through the chimney industry. Yep. So here's the thing, Kevin. I know what you need and you need funds. This is not a government supported project. This is not a government subsidized. This will, this program will rely on donations to operate. Am I correct? That's absolutely correct, Jerry. And it's going to be an ongoing need. Right. So here's the whole thing. You are a 5013 C corporation, I believe. Am I correct? You are absolutely correct. So to explain what a 5013C corporation is, that means if you donate money to Warrior Horse, this money is tax deductible. Am I correct, Kevin? Absolutely, Jerry. And not only that, the funds are overseen by board of directors. Tell me who all is on your board of directors, Kevin. Well, I'm on there, of course. And Teresa, my wife, my daughter's on there. Um, John Hagler, who's the associate pastor of our church, is on there. He's our treasurer. And then we have another individual within the horse industry here locally in the 4-H world. Kay Stow is on our board of directors. Okay. Yeah. What about your local community? What, what, what are the people in the community saying about this? Are you seeing support from your local community here, Kevin? We are definitely seeing support locally. Um, the Simple Church is one of our biggest local sponsors. Citizens Bank here national um, is a sponsor. And all of our customers within our chimney sweep business are extremely excited about it because a portion of all the proceeds from each sweep that we do goes back into the Warrior Horse program as well. So we've got two of the local news stations that have done stories on Warrior Horse and they're waiting for us to get our first class in so that they can come get some testimonials as well and do another story. Got you covered. So that's what, you know, I think in the first time, you know, if you ever heard Kevin talk about this, and one of the things I told him tonight, it's like, Kevin, you can't get emotional on this podcast tonight. Can we get through this without the emotion? Yeah, we can do that. And we've done that. But the whole thing is, it's like when you see somebody like Kevin and he tells you these stories and you hear it in person and get to meet the guy and you see how how enthused he is about this and how he's driven you can't help but get behind the guy and what he's doing so kevin i think you have affected a lot of people in a very positive manner and i know a lot of those help you and again i don't want to i want to make sure we don't miss anybody tonight but i do want to recognize one guy that i think might be a driving force and that was our friend john meredith i think john has been a person who's helped you go after your dream would that be true absolutely john has been a key player in all of this he's done several fundraisers through his um businesses to help fund the program so far yeah so kevin i'm gonna tell you my friend it's an admirable thing you're doing um 
every time I see you, you never lose your faith. You never lose your interest. You keep going forward. And you're probably one of the most grateful guys I've ever seen for people that can help you, not only in Warrior Horse, but anyone that helps you in your personal life and your business. You're a man that is full of gratitude. And for that, I congratulate you. And I'm glad to call you my friend, sir. Well, thank you, Jerry. That's kind words. And uh, it's right back at you because you're a pioneer in this chimney industry. And I've got the utmost respect for you as well. Well, thank you, Kevin. So listen, before we go out of here tonight, and this is not a prepared question for you, but what I'd like you to do, Kevin, is share your thoughts. What would you tell people in this industry, people you've met, people you've never met? What would you tell them if they have a dream or if they see a project? What would you tell them to do when they hit what I call that magic moment that says, this is what you were destined to do? What would Kevin Russell tell them? Well, if you think about it, we all have gifts. We all have blessings. Most of us own a business, whether it's in the chimney industry or any other industry. And we can use those things to help others. And if you feel something that you think you could do to make a difference, then the first thing I believe you need to do is you need to pull that eraser out of your pocket and get rid of your comfort zone. Because we limit ourselves too much on what we think we're capable of and what we're willing to go do for ourselves. But when we do it for others, it makes it a lot more easily accessible. And when you start this journey, remember that the wisdom is in the journey, not the destination. It's the people you meet. It's the places you go. It's, you know, it's the experiences that get you to that destination. Because once there, that's just going to be the beginning of another journey. That's great, brother. So here's what I need you to share with everybody. I need you to share with them what your website is. How do they find out more about Warrior Horse? We're going to put a few links up when we broadcast this out, but tell them how to find your website. Tell them what your email address is. Tell them how people can follow up with you and, you know, any questions. And if they want, if they were coming through Louisiana, are they welcome to stop in and see what Warrior Horse looks like and what it's doing? Absolutely. We'd love to have anybody interested stop by and sit on the porch and drink a cup of tea or a nice hot cup of coffee. And if you want to find out more information, the website is warriorhorse.net. And it has some great videos on there and more information about the program. You can email me at kevin at warriorhorse.net. And we're also on Facebook. Well, that's good, Kevin. And listen, I appreciate you taking your time out of your schedule for doing this. I appreciate what you're doing. And most of all, I appreciate your contributions to mankind. It's guys like you, Kevin, that are making a difference in this world. So I applaud you, my friend. Thank you, Jerry. It's been a pleasure with you this evening. Okay, man. Well, listen, I'll see you in a few weeks in Portland, Oregon, and I'm sure that you, are you going to be in Portland by chance at the NCSG convention, Kevin? I will, Jerry. I'll be there. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. And anytime that you're flying by this way or driving through, I'd love you to stop in and visit with us. You got it. So are you going to, or is there going to be a place in Portland, Oregon at the NCSG convention that people can donate there, Kevin? Well, as you mentioned John Meredith earlier, I'm sure anybody that stops by his booth, there'll be a place there to donate. And right now we're waiting to see if there's going to be a booth available at the trade show as well. But I'll be running around everywhere. Teresa will be there as well. So just try to find us. You got it, brother. So I appreciate it tonight. And so Tune us in next week. You never know who our guest will be from week to week, but we try to bring you the best that we can tonight. This has been a very special episode. Tell them about something that uh, members of the industry are doing to help mankind. Kevin, Teresa uh, Russell, down there in Shreveport, Louisiana, 
and their Warrior Horse Project. If you haven't taken a look at this, look at it. If you're looking for a charity that makes a difference, this could be one that you could participate in. This has been pretty much an industry-driven charity, and hey, we want to see him reach his dreams down there. So anyway, this is Jerry Eisner with the Chimney and Fireplace Success Network. We're sponsored every week by CBC Coaching. So tune us in. Let us know how we can help you obtain your business dreams. Check out our educational platform and all the programs we offer at CBC Coaching. Check our free webinars each month that are on the NCSG News Link to be coming out next week. So we do those. And our outreach services where we're, tr we're trying to help educate this industry. And once again, I thank you. It's a privilege. It's an honor. And it just really makes me feel good to be able to speak to folks every week like this in this manner. Talk to you next week. Be sure and keep it. Just subscribe to us on iTunes. We're on Spreaker. We're on SoundCloud. We hope you'll give us the courtesy of following us week to week. And with that, I'll talk to you next week. Thanks for joining us here each week at the Chimney and Fireplace Success Network, sponsored by CBC Coaching, providing you the coaching and educational outreach services you need to move to your dream destination in business and in life.